Hey, 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 all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I got three stories here in front of me which are all linked together. Now, why am I looking at these stories? Well, I watched the Electric Viking this morning and he did an article and he said this is going to be a game changer and he mentioned game changer about four or five or even six times. He was trying to emphasise that it really was going to be a game changer. And what was he talking about? He was talking about Tesla and CATL. Uh, now, Tesla, they do change the game quite a lot. Now, they've done them big, massive giga castings. Is that what they're called? The big castings they do where they've banged the castings together uh, to save on making parts. Uh, if any any of you watched Sandy Monroe's, Monroe's videos, he explains why it's such a big deal. Um, uh, and they, they've tried to, you know, innovate stuff, combine stuff together, instead of making loads of modules, put them all together. Uh, so, and also the, the Cybertruck has gone to 48 volts, which is what uh, Sandy Monroe has said for a long time, we should all go to 48 volts instead of a 12 volt system. So electric car has a 12 volt system and a 400 volt system or a 12 volt system and an 800 volt or 900 volt system. Um, I think the Cybertruck is a 8 or 900 volt system, uh, battery and a 48 volt, uh, the other parts, you know, your lights and whatnot and so, so forth. Um, because it takes less wiring, the, co the wire can be thinner. But anyway, I'm digressing a bit about that. But um, so the, the electric Viking was talking about uh, Tesla Model 2 and CATL or CATL, I think it's CATL the way you say it. They have sent machinery over to Nevada and Tesla is going to expand Nevada to put this new machine machinery in to build these batteries that CATL are building at the moment. And that's the game changer. CATL, uh, I think they're the biggest battery manufacturer in the world. Uh, and I think they're bigger than BYD. I think I read that. Um, but what, what, is, what is it all about? What am I talking about? Get to the point, man. <laughs> so the story here says, Tesla Model 2 battery may be able to charge in 15 minutes and perform better when cold. Now, the electric vehicle, I'll, I'll go back to what he said. He said something about even in, in really deep minus temperatures, the battery can charge even faster. Now, it was a big story. You don't have to cast your mind back far. They made a big fuss about the cold weather and a few Teslas couldn't charge their cars. Um, and that was it then, the anti-EV brigade. They were all in there laughing and giggling and saying, ah, oh, it's the end of electric cars. But new, ba new battery technology is always on the way. Um, now, Elon Musk has said stuff about the, the way they're going to build the Model 2 as well is going to be uh, a lot better than it was before. That's how they're going to get the costs down. And also it looks like they're going to be building batteries in Nevada to put in the American built ones. Uh, I don't know about the, the Chinese built ones we'll still get from the CATL in China, I expect, because we get the Chinese ones. Um, if we do get the Model 2, which will be later. They say it's coming out in 2025. Uh, in the UK, we always get it later because we don't drive the same as other countries, do we? Uh, like America and China and everything like that, okay? So, um, uh, what were, I lost my train of thought now. So I'm looking at an article here and it says, uh, CATL CEO, CEO was called Elon Musk super energetic and has disclosed some more details about the eventual specs of the Tesla's affordable Model 2. And it says Tesla might already be installing its battery production equipment. Um, and that, that's in Nevada. I think that's what is, where's going in Nevada. Um, so they're going to be building CATL type batteries in, in Nevada. Now, you might be, let me go to the next article. Now, you might be saying, what, what's important about CATL's batteries? Well, like I said, they said they can they can charge faster, much faster. They say they can charge in 10 minutes uh, CATL, but that's still the 20 to 80 mark. 
So that is that is fast. It's really fast. Uh, the anti-EV people always say, oh, I can't charge fast enough. If you got it down to, say, 10 minutes, I'd have one. Well, if, if charging did get down to 10 minutes, then they'd say, uh, I'm not having one, 10 minutes is too long, get it down to five minutes. If you got it down to five minutes, they'd say, no, I want it in two minutes. Because the goal, they always move the goalposts. Whenever it gets better, they, they grab the goalposts and they move them along and say, right, a bit like they all said, electric cars are too expensive, right? They all, ev everybody said who hated EVs, they're too expensive. Now the prices are coming down, they're too cheap. <laughs> they're too cheap and they're saying no it's rubbish now because they they're becoming too cheap so you can't win the goalposts are always moved anyway so the next story is catl again i just hit my elbow on the thing um and it says china's catl is to cut ev battery costs by up to 50 percent this year um and that's a price war and in having a price war it says by you with the China's second largest uh, battery maker, BYD. Uh, and they, obviously they make loads of cars, BYD. Um, so BYD is trying to get the foothold in in the EU and the UK by selling their cars. I think BYD has got the BY Siegel, which I think in China is on $11,000, I think they call it. It'd be more over here. But they, they, they're scaring the pants off the uh, big car manufacturers in Europe with these cheap cars so that's that story so they're going to cut the price of ev batteries by up to 50 percent and remember that battery is going to be going into tesla model 2 elon musk has said that the the way they build the car is going to be a lot cheaper so you know now now i know some people will say take it take elon musk's what he says with a pinch of salt but when he says something is it is true but sometimes it isn't quite as amazing as he makes it out to be. So it'll be good, but it might not be as good as he says, okay? <laughs> and the next story, on the end of this, I pressed on the same thing. Let's go down a bit. So all these stories are linked together. They're all linked together. Um, and it says by uh, on this story, they're all the same sort of thing. CATL is working with Tesla on fast charging cells supply in nevada so there's quite a lot of articles saying the same thing that it looks like tesla is going to be having the catl type cells and that's their new type battery that charges super super fast and i think it's very very energy dense as well so that's going to change the game isn't it it's going to change the game again now i was trying to explain to somebody today uh and you probably know who you are when i say this you do comment quite a lot on my youtube channel and you always come along with a negative about electric cars but i was trying to explain that um and he says he's got a diesel car but i'm trying to explain that um petrol and diesel technology is coming to the end of its evolution i suppose you could say um it's it's been you know it's it, it's slower and the technology is only incremental it's, it's slowed right down it's coming to the almost the end of how far it can go. It can't get much better. Now, on the other hand, EV technology, modern EV technology, I know somebody will say, they used to have EVs back in 1900s with uh, lead, lead acid batteries, I expect. But I'm talking about modern EVs from 2010 onwards. I'm talking from the Nissan Leafs onwards. It's only just begun for EVs. The technology is at the beginning of its evolution it's it's at the start it's only just begun and it's changed massively from 2010 to now in that in the short space of time now some people will say it hasn't changed at all but of course it's changed of course it's changed it's much better than there is from the first nissan leaf that came out from the factory it's much better today much better and that technology is still on the road of going upwards. Evolution of battery technology and battery uh, electric cars is just at the beginning. It's going to keep going up and up and up. And obviously, it will, that'll get to a point one day when it slows, but at the moment, it's still going fast. So 
I just thought I'd put them stories together. I, I haven't really got um, the nitty gritty on these fantastic super duper batteries. I'm gonna have to sit down and read it all and try and get it in my noggin <laughs> so I can relay it to you. Um, somebody in the comment section might know more about these batteries, um, but from what I'm hearing, they're much more energy dense. They haven't got any uh, cold charging problems and they charge super duper fast. Um, so that sort of puts the sort of the anti-EV uh, com complaints. It just gets rid of them in one foul swoop, doesn't it? Really, sort of thing. Um, so there we are. I think that's the end of that lot. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi! -ho